<laughs> I'm so old. Welcome back to the Papa Meat Channel. How you doing? <laughs> There's so many words and phrases being thrown around on the internet and comment sections and other kinds of places and humor that I'm, I'm lost. I'm absolutely lost in my old age. Words like gooning, edging, canthal tilt. I don't know what the f it, it, people use it in normal conversations as if this is normal uh, nomenclature just for anybody. It seems it, it, it's odd. And when looking more into it to try to keep up with these goddamn youths, I found out that it's all kind of derivative of something called looks maxing. Looks maxing is a very, very popular trend right now on YouTube and TikTok and all these other places. And it's kind of embedded in male culture. Yeah, the females, they do looks maxing too. Who gives a shit, dude? We need to talk about the real fucking juggernauts of this. The real people who hurt and suffer more than anyone else. Me and the boys, AKA the incel community. Hey, if you're an incel, stand up, be proud. This one's for us guys. There, there's level of obviously irony and other kinds of humor in it, but it is a very real thing. And it's something that I am going to uh, take into consideration moving forward with my own looks because I'm a morbid, morbidly obese piece of shit. I even got my uh, my my face evaluated by a giga chad um, and he, this was the score. Not good. Looks maxing is the practice to maximize one's look. And most importantly, when you're a looks maxer, your goal is mogging, which means to be more physically attractive than someone else. It's very petty, and that's why I love it so much. Looks maxing is actually a pretty old trend from around 2015 that popped up on a forum called lookism.net. It was mostly associated with incels trying to blame all of their problems on not being attractive enough to get some pussy, so the idea of looks maxing was born, which is kind of interesting because I will say in a lot of incel communities, usually there's no kind of self-growth happening, which is the opposite of looks maxing. They're upset. I am upset. I am married, and I'm I'm upset I get no pussy, all right, dude? <laughs> and nearly a decade later, looks maxing has now spread to TikTok and YouTube, and the toxicity of the culture has been growing absolutely rampant. Which, you know, some people say toxicity. I say the good word. Because to mog is to live, is what I would say. If you're not mogging, what the fuck are you really doing? There's a prominent forum called looksmax.org where young, insecure people, like myself, will desperately try anything to increase their SMV, SMV, AKA, Sexual market value. It's like Wolf on Wall Street. All over again, baby. There's a guy named Wheat Waffles who will rate your SMV for a very small price. And I think it's actually worth it. Which I want to say, I paid the fucking price and this is what he had to say. Thanks, Wheat Waffles. Men just got it, dude. Honestly, can I just be real for a second, Nick? And just like cut the bullshit. We, we don't have to include this in, honestly. I'm just saying, just like cut it if it's bad, but. I just want to talk about men because they just have it harder. Like, I don't know. I'm tired of like, I go on these forums with women and they're like, oh, I don't look at it. Dude, I hate women. So let's take a look at some of the techniques to increase your SMV. And also, uh, if you're a woman, get out of here. Get the hell out. Today's video is sponsored by Fume. If you have any unhealthy habits, maybe consider trying Fume. Once you form a bad habit, it's hard to break. And usually quitting cold turkey is the absolute worst thing someone can do. Let Fume fill the void in a natural, guilt-free way. You can still get your fix just with healthier options. Fume's innovative, award-winning device is a sleek, lightweight, and can help you kick your habit. Fume is completely natural and replace vapor with flavored air. Instead of harmful chemicals, users can enjoy Fume's refreshing flavors like crisp mint, sparkling grapefruit, orange vanilla, and raspberry lemon. Mmm. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun! Fume has served over 150,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you! Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com slash papameat or scan the QR code and use code papameat to get 10% off when you get the journey pack today. And Fume's base was just launched in January. It's a way to stand to rest your fume on when not in use with a magnet inside that keeps your fume attached. The fume device can be spun around on it, which is good for fidgeting. Let's try fum.com and use code PAPAMEAT to save an additional 10% off your order today. Thanks Fume for sponsoring the video and back to the video. Which first on our long, long list is soft 
maxing. These are lifestyle changes that include basic care to your hygiene and aesthetic presence, such as going to the gym, getting a haircut, and moisturizing. That's right, I said moisturizing. It's no longer considered gay. Back in my day, if I would have brought some lotion or if I would have told, hey, I got some aloe vera, I'm gonna put it on my arms, people would say you're gay. And I think that actually drops my SMV, correct, Nick? Thank you. It's basic hygiene and wearing clothes that fit you. No longer do you have tight, if you're if you're a big guy like me, get, get, dude, you go buy clothes, you're not a medium. I've been there, dude, hey, I'm living it. When I had to take the step from 2X to 3X, sad day, sad day. Now we're gonna be talking about some uh, techniques that will alter your physical appearance in some unusual ways. So please, come with me, come with me. Come on, it's like a back alley deal. <laughs> No, come on, seriously, no one's looking, come on. Starting off with the jaw and face, AKA your money maker. The first category is improving the fucking jawline. You've probably seen people on the internet, you know, do the thing where they show off their giga chad shin and stuff like that. It's like basically saying, hey, are you in the club? Look at me, dude. See this? I'm working on it, dude. I'm not saying that my SMV is high. It's on the rise, but it's not high. So I'm still working on that. I have to lose about, it shouldn't be that bad, about 120 pounds. Mewing. You're probably thinking, Pokemon. Wrong! Looks Maxing 101, dude. And it's named after its creator, Dr. Mike Mew. This is a facial reconstruction technique that involves placing your tongue on the roof of your mouth to change the shape of your jawline. Some of the benefits include this. Realigning your teeth so you don't have no buck-ass teeth. Improve facial aesthetics so you get that chiseled, giga-chad jaw. And it stops you from becoming a mouth breather. If you're a mouth breather and you're a fucking uggo, back of the line, get the SMV up, you're not a mog man yet. Mew immediately. I have sleep apnea and that does not help my SMV. I want to see some before and afters, dude. 20 months mewing plus hard mewing. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. Beautiful man, SMV way up. You know, I would say that he was a pretty handsome guy to begin with, but that jawline now, unbelievable. Next up is gum chewing. The practice of gum chewing is to strengthen and sharpen one's jawline. What you're probably like, is that mewing? Dude, no. Were you listening? Some people recommend chewing gum for 16 hours a day to get chiseled jaw. And they make very hard gum. You can buy extremely hard pieces of gum just for this exercise, just to get those fucking muscles right here. Nice and buff, dude. Mastic gums are considered to be the best, which is eight to 11 times harder than the normal gum. Look at that. Looks like fucking, I don't know if I, I think I'll just stick to mewing maybe. But there are some drawbacks, which you can develop TMJ and grind down your teeth into baby teeth. When you're, when you're trying to become a god, there's always gonna be some, some bumpy steps along the way. But the people who persevere and who don't end up getting baby teeth or TMJ, they're the champions. Next one up is gua sha, which I've seen this, I've seen, I feel like I've seen people roll these on uh, dogs' heads and stuff. Which gua sha is a traditional Chinese healing method in which a trained professional uses a smooth edge tool to stroke your skin while they press on it. You ever been rolled around by a Chinese guy? Well, you can do it yourself or I, I still like getting mine from the Chinese guy. And my SMV, like I said, it's on the rise. Where's your SMV? Your SMV pretty good? This may reduce inflammation, reducing chronic pain, but it's mostly used to get sharp jaw lines once again, dude. You think there's just a couple tricks in the books? Of course not, dude. It, it, whenever Da Vinci made David, did he just slap the stone around a couple times? No, you gotta roll around. You gotta treat it right until it becomes absolutely perfect. Dave, David, the statue definitely the was a mogger. I can't speak for Da Vinci. Yes, Da Vinci was a good artist, but from what I saw in some of the pictures or paintings of him, old boy SMV was low. And I don't really know if he was a mogging man himself. Next up, we also have thumb pulling, which thumb pulling is a technique that involves inserting both thumbs in the mouth and pulling the palate apart against the back third of the palate. So it's going back. Oh, you pull your mouth open? The goal is to create more space in the mouth and stimulate maxilla bone growth, dude. You, 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 your teeth are essentially a, like a bird, right? You wanna pull those bad boys out. And of course, there is belt pulling, which you bite down on a belt and then lift it up. You lift it up over your head. And uh, you know, there's some drawings of, of how to do this too. Let's just look at some of these, they're pretty good. This is haunting. First off, he put a lot of time in those eyes. That is fucking crazy. Dude, we, th when we did the medieval torture device video, this is exactly what this is. Look at the, look at the fucking, uh, like the scribbles on there too. I mean, he was, this is a madman. This is Da Vinci. This is what Da Vinci wanted to be. I thought that was his asshole for a second where he's bent over, but no, so that's him. And that's him, you put around your knees and you also pull that way too. Oh, this is the artist before and after images. All right, here, so here's before one. What's this guy? He's a good looking guy. He's got kind of a bit of a dud chin. Let's see afterwards though with the belt pulling. Is this the same man? 
<laughs> this is the same guy? You know what? He just, yeah, he, I think the old boy just should have grown his hair out. Because I think the long hair also accentuates. No, I'm, it was the belt pulling. I think it was a good deal, dude. I'll tell you a quick story about how I fucked my face up five years ago. I took a fucking belt, bit down on that shit, and started yanking it up from my face with my arms. It didn't feel very good, so I lifted up my legs and put the ends around my feet, started pulling hard as possible, and felt a pop. <sighs> I, I looked in the mirror and my face appeared forward as fuck. I was ecstatic. I finally found how to, to I finally found how to ascend hard. Praise be to you, brother. A, 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 a true, a true mogger, no matter what he says through and through. The SMV is way up and his belt chewing is only proof of that. I tried this for a week and then took a break. Within two fucking days, it all collapsed and, re and reverted. Whoa, it was worse than before and I literally looked like my face had shrunk. Don't pull your Maxilla, just get a expander or MSE. Wow. Next up, we have carrot maxing, which is a practice of consuming extreme amounts of carrots and foods with beta carotene in order to get that orange glow. It is recommended to eat around seven large carrots a day or about seven pounds of carrots. <laughs> you know, you wanna hear something? Huh? Like 10 years ago, I was doing that. You actually, like literally, you were eating tons of carrots to get a glow? Oh it just makes you orange though. It's supposed to make you look a little tan, but. Well, why don't you just tan? Well, is it because of the damage that UV rays do? So this is a more holistic way of going about it. Okay, well, I can see the MOG aspect of that. Let's move on to the eyes. Which the eyes? Windows of the soul, dude. Very, very important when you're when you're thinking about doing looks maxing, all right? Have you ever heard of the Canthal tilt? Oh, wait. This is the angle of your eyes are oriented on your face, dude. Which we have a little a thing here, which is positive looking more assertive, more dominant, neutral. You look like, you know, you, you, not intimidating, but you could be passable. And of course, negative, you look sad. And that's gonna take your SMV down just a couple points, definitely, okay? Is my Canthal tilt, is it positive? <laughs> Editor, put like a line to see. Is it positive, Nick? I was gonna say it's either neutral or negative. It's negative? Those with negative can't all tell it, apparently me, are called prey eyes. These make you look weak and vulnerable, which I don't look weak and vulnerable, dude. I bet you there's been so many people who watch my videos and are like, I could fuck him up. And you know what I have to say that too? I'd be like, Stop. Stop. Outside of surgery, there's no way to change your canthal tilt, and that doesn't mean people aren't trying. Here are some exercises that are paraded around. To help with your eyes, you can do squint maxing, which do 100 partial squints before bed and try to hold squints throughout the day to train your eyes to strengthen those muscles, which I'm gonna start doing fucking tonight. I'm gonna do one of these. You can eye pull, which pull in the corner of your eyes to change the orientation of your canthal tilt. Here's a video of that. I don't I don't see how that would really work, but I'm gonna see it anyways. Negative canthal tilt, here we go. I think it's good, I think I'm done. We've done the jaw, the face, and now we've done eyes. But now it's time to move on to hard maxing, which going to more extremes and changing your appearance via cosmetic surgeries, limb lengthening surgeries, and steroids. Come on, boys. Make the tough decisions. You know what you, you know. Can you actually do it without help? Sometimes you need a fucking doctor's hand to help. You know what I mean? So spent 100K hard maxing to go from ugly to average. I spent most of it on multiple jaw and chin surgeries. Had a very recessed chin, but a very wide jaw and uh, hypertrophied masseter. Jesus Christ, dude. And hair transplants to bring my six head down to a four and a half head. <laughs> I also got two rhinoplasties and a full body liposuction. God damn, dude. This is Ken. We're talking about Ken right here. I was told myself I just want to be average. If I can get to average, it would all be worth it, and I won't have any more surgery then. Well, now I do believe I am average. I'm very happy about it. Thank God for modern medicine. But now I wish I, I were attractive. I spent so long thinking I'd be happy being average that I never expected to be somewhat dissatisfied when I reached my goal. But now I see how attractive girls are treated, and it just looks so much more fun. However, my body can't take any more surgery, nor can I tolerate it mentally. So average it is. Has anyone experienced the same thing after hard maxing? The man's, the man's mog is so high, and it's a shame that he values his SMV so low. That's a fucking crazy, that's like a Greek tragedy. Teddy Roosevelt had a great, uh, had a great quote. He said, I have never in my life envied a human being who led an easy life. I would envied a great many people who led difficult lives and led them well. That wasn't the quote I was thinking. It should be something like, envy is the thief of joy. I think also part of mogging is self-confidence in yourself and raising other boys up, dude. Making sure the men feel good around you, you know what I mean? I wish I could give this guy a hug. I'd buy this guy a drink. 
some of the other ones for hard maxing, there is leg lengthening surgery, which is during a leg lengthening procedure, the bone is purposely broken. Surgeons fit a support device either on the outside of the leg or inside the bone that can be stretched one millimeter, three inches, or 0 0.03 inches every day. That's from Business Insider. What the fuck are they writing about over there at Business <laughs> Insider, dude? Jesus. Another issue, if the leg becomes over-lengthened, the patient will struggle to walk and certainly cannot run. It is also costly, with the prices starting around 30000 per leg. How fucked is that? Dude, don't give me a fucking... I'll just do one this time. Just give it... Just fucking price it like it's both your legs. You're not gonna just do one, dude. Which this guy went from 5'11 to 6'6? Six, six? Oh, dude. That is crazy. Kind of reminds me of this episode of uh, Tales from the Crypt where this rich old man keeps buying body parts from this buff guy because he wants to impress this bitch, this woman. I wasn't very, was that Mog of me? Is calling a woman a bitch, is that Mog? 5'3 to 5'9. Yeah, the 5'3 to 5'9, it looks pretty natural. I just, oh, I'm just thinking about my legs. Like, I wonder how bad that hurts. I would actually, I mean, you know what I'm gonna say? Actually, yeah, if you feel insecure about yourself, get a very expensive procedures done. You'll feel great. Bone smashing, which this one's free, <laughs> but you, I, if you're a professional maybe, but I don't know about this one, which bone smashing is the practice of hitting yourself in the face with hammers, bottles, massagers, and other blunt objects in the pursuit of beauty. This is based on Wolf's Law. It states that bones and healthy animals will adapt to the loads placed on them. An example of this is if a bone is loaded more, it will remodel itself over time to become stronger in that way. So yes, you can mew and stuff. You can also take a hammer and beat your face until it, it forms something that you're liking. Facial fractures can result in a whole array of issues from damage to the brain, detachment of eyeballs from muscles and eyelid structures, collapse of nasal airways or the cheekbones, injuries to the ear canals and hearing and more. That's my boy, Dr. Urf. Is this a woman? It's, if this is a woman, if we're quoting a fucking woman in this MOG video, I'm gonna be very upset. I'm just gonna, you know what, it's from a doctor. It's from a doctor, I'll put it on the screen, but I'm not gonna say the name. Next up after that, we have starve maxing. I need to take a fucking page out of this book, dude. Good Lord. This is essentially starving yourself, and this is uh, nothing new, you know, but the new term in looks maxing take over the internet, it is weirdly being praised where it normally would not. Many men in comments congratulate the people starving themselves and encourage them to go on. You gotta raise those boys up. You gotta make sure and be like, hey, no more food. You're looking great, man. Starve maxing to the most. Especially if you couple that with some mewing and some carrot maxing, I think you're on your way to doing something pretty good. Next up is jelking. Ancient techniques to stretch the penis to help add size and girth, which I will be copying and saving this one to my phone. So how do you jelk? Put your index finger or thumb in an O shape, like, okay, hand signal. Place the O shape gesture at the base of your banana. Make the O smaller and smaller until you put mild pressure on your penile shaft. Slowly move your finger and thumb toward the... <laughs> Slowly move your finger and thumb toward the head of your penile unit until you reach the tip. Reduce the pressure if this feels painful. Boy, we're not trying to torture ourselves here, right? We're just trying to get bigger members, which an increase will bring us bigger confidence, all right? Repeat this once per day for about 20 minutes. That is a full workout, dude. They give the same instructions for a bow flex, all right? <laughs> That's how serious you have to take this. <laughs> Improper techniques can cause damage to soft tissue. So you can develop Peroni's disease, that is a great name for a penile disease, dude, which is scar tissue that can build up and create se uh, severe uh, curvature on the member. Dude, I, you might like that. I thought they called that a shooting rainbow. I thought people liked that. Some people have also experienced erectile dysfunction. Next up is probably the one I've seen most commonly and people have probably also seen most commonly, commonly is edging and of course, gooning. Edging is masturbating and stopping yourself before orgasm and then beginning again, keeping yourself close to climax, but never getting there. Gooning is a form of masturbation that involves edging for a long period of time, resulting in hypnotic trance-like states, which masturbation is so intense that it becomes a state of meditation that consumes you and provides endless pleasure. You, you either pair it with overstimming, which is as you possibly can, or edging. There is not one way to goon. They all just have one goal, be consumed by masturbation and bliss. Here's a couple um, comments I thought were applicable. Back in November, I was doing the No Nut November challenge, but I edged for every single day of the month. On December 1st, 
I start to masturbate and edge like six more times before I I almost passed out from the intensity of that orgasm. I so much, I had to take a bath and look for a towel to clean everything up. No joke, I like four ounces. And of course, the first comment underneath it is just beautiful. Which, boys, that's what we need to do. We need to boost our boys up. That's an incredible feat. An entire month of edging. Wow. If it was me, I probably, I, I would, well, Nick, here's the thing. Would you say, are you a, are you an edger or are you a gooner? You said that with a lot of, like, you, that was a very non-mog way of saying that. You can't just whisper edger, dude. Say it loud and proud, dude. I'm an edger, and you're, I'm proud. You're goddamn right. Next up, we have munting. Munting is a variation of necrophilia involving two living people and one dead person. It can be male or female. It's a corpse. All right, it's a, dead, it's a dead corpse. And if you see someone who munts, you need to stay clear of that guy. But if you do, this is what this is how to munt if that's a road that you want to go down, which is fine and dig up a semi-decomposed de corpse. One person then goes down on said corpse while the other one jumps on the dead person's stomach, causing the juices to be forced out of all orifice. These are drank by the person orally connected to the corpses. Uh... I want to throw up a little bit. And I want to say that this has nothing to do with looks maxing. Like I said, it's just a part of the nomenclature of what we're talking about. And there is a munting subreddit, but you have to literally request access and be granted in to see what's happening. So if anybody has that Pandora's box key, I guess maybe share it with the world because I'm kind of curious if I'm being honest. Which, lastly, we have rope maxing, which, you know, if you do all these changes, you put your heart and soul into it, and you still can't get laid, you resort to ropes maxing, which is basically unaliving yourself. If you're a true mocker, and you're trying to get your SMV up, then you will goon yourself into enlightenment, and you will know that your brothers are around you, belt chewing, mewing, hard mewing, carrot maxing, leg lengthening, doing everything they can to boost themselves up, but then also boost, boost their boys up. And here's the thing, guys, because like I said, there's no, there's no women in here so we can talk candidly. It's important to have confidence within yourself. I myself am a mogger. A goon from time to time. Hell, I'll even edge if I feel like it. But one thing that's important is boosting up your fellow man. As a man, it's a nice club of people where it's easy to feel down on yourself. Something that women can't understand, all right? So I would say, if you see a man in the street, see if he mews. Compliment a jawline. Offer helpful suggestions, right? Most importantly, worry about your own SMV and try to boost all the other SMVs around you. Because it's not a competition, boys. It's a lifestyle. Goodbye. What are you going to tell me that you did? Oh, I'm comfortable in my own skin. Look how weak my chin is. Look how bulbous I am, dude. I look like the goddamn Michelin man. You think I'm stoked about being a non-mog? Fuck that. You're trying to mog to be more mog than any other man around you. <laughs> I love it, dude.